we're going to talk about the top five baits that I think you should be throwing this time of year in May, wherever you go. Number five is a topwater bait, but specifically two different types, a popper and a wake bait. A popper is a fantastic bait this time of year. They're in shallow water. They're a little bit of fin they're a little finicky and their strike window is a little bit tighter. Color wise, I like to go with a bone or a black see-through type of color. And I like the river to sea popper just because of this opened mouth that it has there. It really leaves a good bubble trail. Oroshi Storm Cover Pop. This thing is extremely heavy. And what's nice about this is I can flip and pitch it around docks and brush, but then still leave it in the strike zone for a long period of time. You can leave it over a fish's bed, really entice them to try to actually bite. The other one that people don't throw anymore is like a little wake bait. I know what you're thinking, Tom, you just said you want it to stay in the strike zone for a long time. So why a wake bait? You're crawling this on the surface. That's the key. You're just going to be slowly winding that thing. And all you're doing is you're creating that S wake on the top of the water column, which is fan. It, it will get you some of the most devastating strikes possible. And this is something that you can throw around lay down, around docks, around emerging grass vegetation. When the shad starts spawning and you really see some good shad spawns, you can go with that as well. And you can still have success. Number four is a fluke. We're getting into fluke season, boys. Now I have a whole video about that, actually, about different ways you can actually rig this bait. And I'll list that thing right up here. Number three is a swim jig. Now I'm not going to get into this a lot because I have a huge swim jig seminar that we're going to be talking about here shortly. This is the multi tool, the multi tool in your tackle box. There's so many things you can do with this. I can pitch it. I can flip it. I can swim it. Dirty jigs makes a good one, but honestly, whatever brand that you like the most will work fine. So what do you guys think? Number two and number one will be this time of year. Number two is a tube. I'm not fishing this like a Shenandoah river. Uh, Susquehanna River tube. I'm using a Trocar 2 watt flipping style tube hook. And this becomes one of the best baits for bass when they're finicky up shallow. And there's that subtle action that the tube has that nothing else can really duplicate. And no one's really throwing these right now, which is absolutely insane. Other thing that I really love about this, if you are fishing docks, this right here is one of the best baits ever to be able to skip way back underneath there. Key with my setup here is I'm not throwing this on a bait caster. Um, if you guys have watched my other videos, I'm a big advocate about power spinning reels and spinning gear. So I actually throw this on a medium heavy inshore redfish rod with 30 pound braid to an 18 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I tie that with an FG knot. That way, when I skip back under that dock, I can absolutely lean on them and yank them out of there. And if I can catch redfish and snook and barnacle filled docks down in the Carolinas and the Keys, I can handle a four or five pound bass with that setup there. Number one, my number one bait that you need to be throwing this time of year to get success, shaky head, are spawning or are done spawning. They're going to be tired. They're going to be wary. And there's also an uptick in just boat traffic on the lake. A jig can still work. I usually, my brain is like, somebody's already throwing a jig at this dock or at this tree. Some of our better fish at the Chickahominy tournament, I caught on a shaky head, on a power shaky head. Instead of like throwing a big jig or a big uh, pitching bait, going in there with, with a shaky head was the deal. And we were able to catch fish that no one else was catching. Now, when I throw this thing, this I'll throw on a bait caster, a medium heavy seven foot rod with an extra fast tip. And I'll throw it on 16 pound fluorocarbon. And that's kind of my power setup. And I'll just throw it wherever I'd throw a jig. Guys, that was kind of like my, my top five for May baits. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys actually like to be throwing this time of year.